Taz and Bam Bam went through the entrance ramp Mick Foley is the hardcore champ RVD, Mr. Money in the Bank Remember Tugboat, he was a tank What? That's right TNA EC Dub DC Dub All yeah. this shit <laughs> Yeah, you had a question? Yeah, so I know you guys aren't really sure exactly how all these fans come But would you say with your MySpace presence What sounds like it's pretty robust Is there any real silver bullet to sort of um, sort of building that MySpace presence and keeping it up there, keeping people back to your pages and like just hit, hit everything you can. Yeah. <laughs> just we, my, we even go so far as to comment on our fans' pages. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah just direct them there. If you let them know that you're there, like you're not just on the show, you let them know that you exist as a person outside the show and you show that like you care about them and you can have like just ask how their day is, like outside, like if they're on AIM, like Jimbo, he'll, he was on it, I'm like, oh hey, how you doing man? He's like, oh wow, I just well, got back we, to school. We didn't mention the one uh, guy who, just another guy from England, uh, he is an aspiring professional wrestler. Oh, Jack. And, yes, yeah. Jack. Yeah. Um, yeah. He, he sent us he sent us a YouTube video of one of his matches. And we and called it on the air. Yeah, we, yeah, we, did, we did commentary. We yeah, I was like, okay, go to this link on the MySpace page, watch this yeah. video from this point, and we'll, then it'll follow along with us. I don't yeah. know if anybody actually did that, <laughs> but it was kind of fun to do on the air. And that was a good thing to interact with. And he sent another match like a, a month or so later after he had a chance to videotape it. It was pretty cool. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, hit up every avenue you can. Like, and make sure they know that you exist outside of the show. Um, I don't, I don't mind if, it, if, if you show, yeah, if you show that at any time you can talk to them, something, mm -hmm. someone, and just interact with them, they'll be more willing to interact with you on the show. Mm -hmm. And if you give them a little bit of love on the show, they start <coughs> saying, "Hey, you know, I was on the show," and like mm -hmm. people start talking, like, "Wow, my friend was on there. Like, there's are nice guys." Yeah. You know, so, and whatever they're talking don't, about, they help you. Don't present yourself as untouchable. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Um, on the MySpace front, um, my philosophy with it was, look, I was introduced to it and I started my own page, you know, personal page or whatever. But beyond that, I started seeing it as a marketing tool more than anything. You know, of course, there's a lot of people that do are, you know, that do care about their MySpace page and have friends and communicate with people. But right now I have four accounts. One's my personal one, one's for my band, uh, one's for this, and one's for Western PA Jugglers up. Um, now, I'm really pushing the band in this show. Most interaction is on this show, uh, as far as the mind space. Because right? there is a, a you know feedback kind of thing going on there. And, and a lot of what the fans and everything's come from just leaving comments on the page. It, people come back and forth and left comments and, and, and said, hey, great show. It's like, hey, what'd you think about this on Raw or SmackDown or TNA or whatever? And you know, the, the video, I think, will be even posted on YouTube. The Iron Sheik video. Mm -hmm. The infamous Iron Sheik video, they interviewed him and he was just the most, most ridiculous mm -hmm. interview. We want, to, we want to interview Iron Sheik. He's coming to Pittsburgh he's going to be here. Uh, in the beginning of December. The yeah, ninth. So, so, no, he's, he's insane. He's, he's, he's crazy. He's crazy. Than he thinks WrestleMania 3 was real. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so he, nobody told him that, uh, that he doesn't have to, you know, pretend that it's super real anymore. You know what I mean? Yeah. He, he like flipped out. They were, they were like, well, you wrestled with this guy named Brian Blair. What was that like? And he was, and this is a quote. This is a quote from the Iron Sheik. He's like, look it up on that YouTube. little, that little fuck Brian Blair. I put him in camel clutch and I break his back. I fuck him in ass and I don't do it for God or Jesus, but for Mr. McMahon. <laughs> <laughs> that was that was material for three weeks. <laughs> three weeks. Every time we're in a wrestling match and we see somebody getting the camel clutch, we go humble him. <laughs> put him in the camel clutch. I'm sure it's going to come up tonight. <laughs> Yeah, and it's it's and he's coming. He's coming. He'll be at a uh, convention of some sort. Yeah, Bruno yeah. San Martino, and so hopefully we get to go to the convention. Maybe we get to talk to him and stuff. And mm -hmm. Maybe we'll have a video of us. Guys, show 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 come out of Buffalo. Sorry, okay. guys, do a wrestling show on the public access channel in Buffalo. FNW. Mm -hmm. Is that the fight up there? Yeah, Randy is the one of his name. Oh, I don't know who they are, but I've heard of them. I know they've been shows down in Saddle Ridge on the south side here. <laughs> So yeah, we're also trying. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> he, uh, we, all, we also tried. Uh, right now, we're just trying to get hit all the grassroots uh, feds. Any any fed we, we wanted. Like, IWC, we're people. definitely trying to get involved with. They got really good talent. They got a lot of TNA guys in there. Uh, those got a lot of guys there tonight. Yeah. Um, yeah, FMW, I want to check out. 
Uh, isn't there a PWX or something in town? Yeah. Or something yeah. extreme? We're, we're, we also get involved in that, uh, like I said, a few of us do wrestle. We have a show coming up with, uh, is it LBWA? Yeah. And, um, like, they have, they have wrestlers from all over uh, Pennsylvania. And also, some of their guys wrestle in IWC, which is one we're seeing them. Like, basically, all the indie federations, it's like a web. Like, someone will always know someone who knows someone. Some and of those guys get called up to the big time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And, you know, we, we interviewed a fabulous John McChesney uh, a few weeks ago. Mm -hmm. He's actually been on a couple of the shows uh, as a job as a jobber on Raw. We might have beat his ass one week on Raw. Yeah, he's actually been up there. And, you know, it, I figured we, we interview a lot of indie people. You never know, that could be the next. And it started, it, it, it started from knowing people. Like I, I ran into a local wrestler named Jason Gorey uh, when I went to a dope show. Like both times I went to a dope show last year in, uh, at the Rex here in the South Side. We ran into me, you and me from WPAJ. And he's like, hey, IWC. I was like, yeah, I've been meaning to go to a show. I finally had recently in the last couple of months. I was like, hey, I'm going to do this thing. I'm going to do this thing now. And uh, from there, we, tag, we, we interviewed his tag team partner, uh, Shima Zion. Was the uh, first male model of oh, the first, the first, the first Filipino super model. supermodel? Some ridiculous thing. <laughs> yeah. Good job. Mm -hmm. Then Fabio John Chesney, he like you know was hanging out with them at the table. Plus, he knows a guy that works on WPJ with me. Um, up in here, so it's just like you know this whole connection thing. We're hoping to build up from there. Mm -hmm. You know, maybe eventually. Like, like wrestling is a lot like podcasting. I mean, wrestling. That whole industry is built off, like he said, it's a web. Everybody's connected. Mm -hmm. With podcasting starting here, starting out in what was it, Boston? Boston, yeah. And now it's just going to be a web, and it's really going to be who knows who. Everybody knows this person, mm -hmm. and just makes you go from there. Because there's wrestling, there's always the big guys that always be there, but there's always the little guys too, like the little feds and the little guys that are doing stuff in uh, gyms and uh, you know just social folks that are really good, really good talent, and they put on a really good show. And we think that they also deserve notice, and we have better access to them. Mm -hmm. So if we showcase them, you know, they can move up. And if they get big, you know, they can still. If we, if we, you know, have a nice, nice, good conversation, make a good impression on them, they can always come back. And, and it helps them out because now they're, you know, they might be uh, wrestling here in like Ohio or Jersey or something like that, mm -hmm. and they're getting on the national. You know, maybe somebody will hear about me over here, maybe a promoter will come with me. So that helps them out as far as that goes. And 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 aside from that, we're advantaged because we're in Pittsburgh, which has always been a hotbed for wrestling. It's always mm -hmm. been a hotbed for wrestling. Yeah, we have three guys here. We usually get just all over from Philadelphia. Philadelphia is a hell of a wrestling town. But uh, it was it was John Chesney, right? When we interviewed him, he just, he said he just got back from Europe doing a European tour. Mm -hmm. So I think he might have been prepping his stuff too. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. That's yeah. the man. So, so. Any uh, any final questions? Because I know we're getting close to time. Yes. <clears throat> my, my my question would be for each one of you, uh, what wrestler would you pick personally as the most entertaining you've ever seen? I mean, personally, I would say towards the end of the year. But uh, for each one of you, which one would you choose? Shark Boy. <laughs> this is ridiculous wrestler who never wins and wrestles in a shark mask. <laughs> He's fantastic. That's a tough one. Um, <clears throat> I'd have to say, probably The Undertaker. He's probably, he's so imposing yeah. as like, I mean, when you see him live, it's something like, a, it's so, when his music hits and stuff, it's, you get chills. And it, he really has been entertaining to watch, especially he's been wrestling for like some 14, 15 years, mm -hmm. and he's been entertaining all throughout his whole career. So, um, I should probably impose real quick, guys. It is four o'clock, so I'm alerting all the rooms. I think it's time for the last session to switch over. And so, if you guys do want to start moving out to the next spot, this is the time. Justin, I want you to see this. Woo! <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank you all for coming. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Check us out. Tell your friends.